Simon Parks has just been caught in a lie. Two years ago, he decided to tell his followers that he was going to sue the BBC. He described this as a David versus Goliath um, court case and that he was going to need as much help as possible to go up against, um, you know, the almighty BBC. Uh, and so therefore, he was asking for donations from all of his followers. Recently, he's, he's come on to say about how he went up against the BBC and won in a legal battle. This, um, I suspected, was not true. We could not find anything online to verify uh, any court case, any legal action from Simon uh, against the BBC. I've tried to contact the BBC as, as well as others have. Um, usually their stance is we do not comment on, on legal matters. However, we finally received a response from the BBC inquiries team. And they state that we have no record of any legal claim being issued by Simon Parks against the BBC. So every time that Simon has lied saying that he had taken legal action um and all the money that he collected from his followers to pursue um you know legal action against the bbc it was all bogus and he has uh, acquired these these monies um through through means through claiming something that wasn't true that he was going to use those funds for something that he did not pursue wow so let's look at what he said back on the 12th of august in 2020 after great consideration uh, I decided that I actually would engage a lawyer to start legal action against the BBC. Um, those of you who don't know, the BBC did uh, some months ago uh, a program in which they repeated and they uh, weren't very nice about me. <laughs> the BBC uh, perhaps do what President Trump says, which is their fake news. Now, obviously, because I've engaged a lawyer, uh, I can't and I won't go into huge details, but I can tell you all that I have engaged a lawyer. Um, and it really is the, the sort of the, the giant against the little person in the old Bible, the David and Goliath. The BBC is this enormous multi-billion, and it is billion, multi-billion organisation funded by the government through television licence and other bits and pieces. And uh, I'm just an individual. And uh, lots of people had said to me, just let it go, um, you know, don't worry about it. But I thought, no, you know, this, there's a principle here. Uh, and if the members of Connecting Consciousness, uh, who hopefully would expect me to make the right decisions, you know, if they didn't see the founder of Connecting Consciousness actually standing up and doing something about it uh, and just shrugging his shoulders, well, hopefully most of them would have been quite understanding, but perhaps they would have been a bit sad in their heart. So this is what's happening. Um, a little old us are uh, taking on the might of the BBC. Um, we're not quite down to eating beans on toast at the moment, but if you haven't donated anything uh, and you're a member of Connecting Consciousness, this might be a good time to see if you can find a dollar or a pound or a euro or whatever it is your uh, method of choice. Um, because we don't charge membership fee and I rely solely on donations and the bits of work that we can do. And I would think that there are a lot of people in the spiritual community, not just in, in Connecting Consciousness, who are saying, Good for you, Simon. Good for you. You go get them. Um, and I think that will probably be the point because how many people in the spiritual community have taken on the might of the BBC legally? How many people? I shouldn't think there are very many. Um, you know, and most people who do, uh, you know, engage in, in lawyers tend to be incredibly wealthy, and so it doesn't matter to them. They just shrug their shoulders. Well, for the rest of us ordinary mortals, it's a big, big deal. Uh, and I'm not sad or embarrassed or, or, or hiding the fact that, you know, I have engaged a lawyer because uh, I won't put up with a big organisation that thinks it's so powerful that it can do stuff um, and then just it's immune because it's so huge. So let's follow it through. Let's see where we go with it. I didn't crowd fund or crowdsource this campaign and uh, we've dug into our resources we've dug very deep into our resources 
and, um, and I'm not embarrassed to ask you if you're a member of Connecting Consciousness and you have never given, perhaps you could find it in your heart to give something now. That would be really helpful, simonparks.org, go on, hit the donate button, um, and you are uh, making your little contribution, maybe a pound, don't know, but your contribution to the spiritual community actually taking on the might of the BBC. We won't be pushed around by anybody, um, and so this is what we're doing. So you can see, as I said, he makes out that this is a David versus Goliath um, uh, case and that he's going to need as much help financially. Uh, so everyone send in your donations to help support this. Now, lots of um, his organisations, uh, the CC, Connecting Consciousness members, have asked what happened with those funds, what happened with that, that case. Lots of other people have been asking for proof that that actually happened. And Simon has been kind of saying over the last two years, well, you know, I can't really comment on, on any legal case at the moment because, you know, of the law, etc. The way things work. Recently, just over a month ago, he came on and said that he'd won the case against the BBC. Um, and then he went on to, to, to describe his other case uh, against two individuals, which was nothing to do with the BBC. He said that one of the guys used to work for the BBC. That's that's not what you claimed. You were, This is this is um, a way to try and um, layer, uh, layer the lie, um, to try and um, get out of the fact that you collected money to sue the BBC and you did not. Those two guys, as far as I could find out, never did work for the BBC. So that's a lie as well. But you can't say you're suing the BBC and then say, oh, oh no, I, I sued someone who, who, you know, worked for BBC 20 years ago uh, on on a show uh, for a bit. And, you know, so I sued the BBC. No, you did not sue the BBC. You are a liar. And you should give your all the money back that you collected um, around that time whilst you were asking for funds. Because you did not. You did not. You did not use those funds for what? people donated it for and if you were out there and you had sent money to um to support legal action against bbc from simon um i implore you to ask for your money back because he didn't use it for that two years ago i decided to take legal action against the bbc actually and a, and a couple of people one of the persons was working with the bbc and uh i won the court case uh, that would delight you delighted me and um, I still can't talk about it yet uh, openly but what I can tell you is that as part of the court's decision uh, the defendants uh, the number one defendant has just emailed everybody that he originally uh, put false allegations out about me uh, and in those emails he's now apologized and there's a standard apology which uh, has been agreed with my legal team and his legal team. And so um, if you were one of those people who received an email from this guy, I'm not going to mention his name at the moment, uh, and you'll know if you did, um, you know, accusing me of just about everything and anything, uh, hopefully you've got your email from him uh, unreservedly apologising. When this is cleared fully through court, because there's another person who uh, also was involved with him who's disappeared and we're having to search for him um, you know to bring him to court again so uh, you know we will have uh, court evidence and documents to lay before we publicly when when it's okay to do so and so when people say things about me they think that on social media it's perfectly acceptable it's not I mean, there's a freedom of speech. You can stand on your sidewalk or your pavement and you can say anything you want about anybody nearly, but you have to be ready to prove what you say. So, yes, there's free speech, but if you can't prove it, then don't be surprised if the person takes legal action against you. So there you go. Simon lied. He did not sue the BBC. It would seem a lot of stuff like this is stacking up uh, on, on old Simon, huh? Hmm. Anyway, till next time, follow MC Secret of Truth.